Welcome to Tig's Bits. This is going to be a very special, special episode of Tig's Bits. And we, man, we're excited. We couldn't be more excited. We have some huge news that we're going to be sharing with you guys. Some huge news about the show. I think everybody's going to be pumped. I know that we are. Trust me, we're not going to make you wait forever to, to get into that. But we do have a full show lined up tonight. Uh, I just got back from Kansas City where I saw, I uh, took my son and got to see Sporting KC play Miami and got to see the greatest soccer player to ever play and, and Lionel Messi got to see him score a goal in person and some interesting, interesting things along the way too. So I've got a little video, of some stuff. We'll talk about that. Um, uh, and you go to Kansas City, how can you not eat some barbecue? I went to a place called Q39. Did a review while I was there. I'm going to share that video in this show as well. Um, plus, just we're going to talk a little bit about some of these amazing guests that we've had on lately. It's been a minute since we've been able to visit with you guys, too, and talk to y'all in the chat. So speaking of special, special nights, let me introduce my co-hosts. He's back, folks. He is back. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. J.R. Uh, the Handler is off the road. Hey, in, in the studio. and Tig then nasty in the house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then, I mean, without any further ado, our esteemed colleague, Mr. Yo. Blossy. What is happening? The one man posse. God, I'm so glad to see y'all. Look at Jr. up there, just looking good as always. You know, yeah, he he's does. Healthy and spry. You know oh, what I mean? Buddy. He's back. He's, he's looking feeling good. good. Dude. He's off the road. I oh, like man. it. Yep. The, 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 so uh, happy to have him back. Hilton's fired up that he's back. <laughs> Paul's fired up that he's back. We're fired up. Bad that he's company, back. baby. JR, what's been going on, man? We'll man, jump into right there. What has been happening? What man, has been happening with you? Just, you know, running running hard at both ends. Um, you know, uh, been on the road, got the tour start off early this year, been just, just tearing it up every weekend out with Cody Johnson. Um, Dylan Carmichael was on the first half of the tour. Uh, now Drake Milligan, new guy, uh, is on the second half of the tour. Y'all check him out if you get a chance. Um, and, yeah, just past weekend played Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. uh, a couple days after Coach Calipari leaves there to go coach the Arkansas Razorbacks, which right. Justin is a fan of, and his yep. bus has the Arkansas Razorback on it. Is. So two days later, we have to go into Lexington, you can imagine. Uh, <laughs> next night, Memphis, Tennessee at the FedEx Forum, a little more close to home, a little home yeah. field advantage there, everything back to normal. Uh, yeah, I bet you I had good. not – I did not think – I thought about it. You sent us a picture. You sent us a, a, a shot from the stage uh, in, in Rupp Arena, which was super cool. But I And I was thinking, like, oh, man, I was actually – because I sent a picture of me at – uh, off on the campus of Arkansas, Bud Walton, and there at the right. at Razorback Stadium, I sent a picture of that, and I said, "Send that." I was throwing the L. You'll see it in the video. Oh, yeah. uh, I said, "Send that to Justin," and then I didn't even think about. Well, y'all are in Lexington. I'm Dude, that's here. Crazy. Like it's that all crazy. Y'all are both sending all this stuff. I was like, "This is un this is unbelievable." You know? and, <laughs> and, and, crazy. and Arkansas's baseball team was in Tuscaloosa playing baseball. I mean, they to, all the Man, way around. Tell, yeah. And that's a would, fine baseball stadium Arkansas has. I, I had not seen it before just as we, we drove by it. Woo, that's, yeah. that's nice. Very nice. Yeah, they, they take their uh, – you know, football, uh, you know, just because the other teams have been on top for a while, uh, but their basketball and baseball stuff, they take it real serious oh, yeah. up there. That's the only university they have so, in the whole state of Arkansas. So, yep. I mean, they, they take it serious. Their basketball arena is super nice, and their, yep. I mean, their football field stadium is too now. You know, oh, it but, is. It's, uh, a nice, it's a nice stadium. It's, but, it's, and you it's gotta in think the offseason. I'll be nice. That's 20 minutes from the, the corporate, uh, corporate headquarters of Walmart. That's so, right. Uh, they, they, Boy, they, Bentonville, going through there, that place is blown up. It's beautiful. It's like oh, a yeah. like a Riviera in the middle of the Ozarks. Basically. And they got a night. And that airport's much nicer than than the re the rest of the airports in the area. I bet it is. They have their own <laughs> airport. It's just called North. It's not even a town. It's just called Northwest Arkansas Airport. Northwest, <laughs> and it's super nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, well, that's awesome. Hey, we do got. Hey, there is. The uh, Red Wolves. Oh, hmm. the, the Red Wolves. They're up there in Jonesboro. 
Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That, that is Arkansas right. State. That, yeah. Arkansas State. <laughs> I get about them. I had to give them a little bit of love, but yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, man. And, well, and, look, and I, we've played that basket. We've played their basketball arena before. It's a nice. It's nice. They have a nice campus. Mm-hmm. You know, Do they? For sure. Yeah, I've been oh, yeah. there. I, I went there for work one time, and happened to be on a like during that week. It was a Thursday night game. I got to go watch a football game. I had a blast. But yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hilton do, says it. Uh, stadium. Hilton says that he hears that Bentonville's great for mountain bikers. That they built a place for those. I, I mean, there's, I'm sure yeah. there's so many hills and stuff. Well, you there. saw I it mean, drive, and they, the they have all yeah. those, all those creeks and rivers, and yep. and, and they have just a ton of stuff to do up there in those mountains and stuff. Oh, it, it is, is man. It's, 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 it's there, really yeah. gorgeous. It really watch is. out I, for I, Jason Bateman and his fucked up family. Besides that, you're good. <laughs> Yeah, stay away from those cats. <laughs> yeah. No doubt, no doubt. Well, look, oh, look, we have we have some big news. We have several folks that are in here in the room, and like I said, we we don't want to we don't want to beat around the bush. We have a full show of things to to talk about, but huge, huge news yesterday. Uh, Blasey and I had a meeting. Uh, we were able to uh, to to have a, a very good conversation. And bottom line. We're excited to announce that we have been picked up by Right Now Television, and starting in June, we will be shown in over 30 different markets across the United States, Boom. from Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, Fresno, Idaho, Montana, Nashville, Jacksonville, Atlanta, Norfolk, Virginia, Albany, New York, and a lot more cities we coming at y'all people, <laughs> and so yes, we, couldn't be, we couldn't be any more thrilled, and and uh, and we just had to get on here. We wanted to go live. We wanted everybody to be. Y'all have been a part of this with us growing. We're gonna keep growing. We're gonna keep moving forward, and just thrilled to be able to to share that news with everybody. It's so cool and it's funny. We just found this out yesterday. <laughs> and, and literally yesterday and today we like we got to tell everybody you know like yeah. one of these things people want to slow play I'm like there's nothing to slow play here I man let's let's, no. tell, let's tell everybody what's no. happening this is this happening and and those conversations are like it's it's done like this is a done deal so yeah it's uh it's just a you know it's so funny in life you know what I mean how you meet people and how you move around and how it's like the connection that got there you know what I mean? It's it's so close to home, <laughs> literally. I say clo- close to home. 300 yeah. yards from my house is one of right. the owners of this network. And we just had a conversation, and next thing I know, uh, here we are. And, Jr., you're going to like it, but what you don't – there's so many wrestling ties with these guys. There oh, are. Man. Wrestling guy ties, country music ties. Federation, one of the other guys, the engineers, used to work as a production uh, engineer for um, – was it WWE or D- WCW? Which one? WCW. Was it? Wow. Yeah, when yeah. we were talking, we kind of uh, we DDP came into the the conversation, and he he threw up the he of threw course. up the diamond cutters like, okay, all right, all right. Oh yeah. He he was he was like one of the main uh, producers of WCW Nitro. Oh, very cool. Wow. Back in those days, <laughs> yeah. Wow. So he was he was with TBS Sports and and things like that. So very unbelievable. Cool. Dude, What's where so I don't cool. know. I wasn't nervous at all as we're having this meeting, and then once he started dropping that, I'm like, oh my lord, we're actually talking to real deal TV people. TV what people. Is happening? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is happening? What is happening? That's so funny. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. That's incredible. Well, that's good. To, that that's gonna be that's gonna be great. Given given the show a platform to get out to a lot of wider audience and, and attract new audience members. Um, and you know, I was thinking about as you were naming off the towns. I've been to every one of those cities, and they're great people in all those. I I know I know someone in every one of those towns that yeah. that uh, is right up our alley. You know that would love love the the, the conversation pieces we we tend to lean on. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So Man, I it, think it, I think it's going to be fun connecting with people all over and meeting some new fans and friends, and uh, it's going to be a good ride. Oh, it's going to be super <laughs> cool, man. It's uh. Yes, that's a world we don't know really anything about when it comes to just straight television, you know, and they're kind of yep, going no. through those things and giving us, you know, kind of some of the parameters of what we, you know, kind of how this is going to flow. And it's like, this is great because it's, it's still our show. Nothing yeah, changes. It's still, our look, show and, and, the same. It's just now we're on TV. And it's like, this is that's this right. Is fantastic. The, yeah. That's right. And the good news, everybody, is that, that nothing's really nothing's really changing on our end. We're not no. really having to. No, uh, not at all. I mean, we're going to format that show. I think I, sh- I think the show just got better. Here's why. 
we kind of are now going to be every week it has to be the same we have to stay in that same time frame with our shows will be around 45 minutes long hour long on tv but there's commercials and things like that so we're gonna we're just gonna keep our shows a little bit shorter i think no one's going to complain about that okay no one will be upset uh, so I think that that's that'll be one little that'll be one little tweak that we that we have to do, but that's really not really nothing different. What I think you'll see more of is, um, and we're gonna go live a lot more. You're gonna have our show that will be the TV show, that will be the podcast where we have our guests, we do our interviews, things like that. But we still want to be interacting with people and things like that. So probably basically just now going to have two shows. One will be live. One will be the, the TV show. Um, yeah. So we'll be, be kind of piggybacking off of the content that's going to be on the TV show that will drop everywhere else as well, of course. But then have this kind of an interaction as well. So this isn't going anywhere. We're just going to reach more people we're going to have new friends everybody yes absolutely. everybody we're going to have all new friends it'll be in this room chatting chatting with us we'll have somebody from albany new york that gets pissed off at something you know and i love that and, and you know? yes absolutely. we'll have a lot of good guests it's going to be great yes it is yeah it is it is just and nothing but line is is built up right now we're just about to have to just pull the trigger and get them flowing in like they're it's, it's right. all set up yeah we got some cool stuff coming so, man, I, right. yeah, I'm super excited. And you know what? There's a lot of stuff that we got to figure out, which is just kind of behind the scenes. I know y'all like to know this, too. But, like, you know, I, how do we do some of these things? Like, the show itself will be simple, but it's like, what else do we do? How do we, how do we piggyback our, you know, streaming stuff along with a TV show? And how do we bring that in? So, it's just going to be fun to figure out together. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, it's I can't wait. It's going to be a blast. another challenge. And, it's a, and I think we – I don't think I know we're ready for it. This is what we've been doing. And – building up for and timing's perfect so cannot wait i yeah, cannot i can't wait. agree can't wait either man it's just gonna be we're just gonna get better and better and it's gonna be it's gonna be so much fun thank all of you that are chiming in in the chat I really really appreciate appreciate it appreciate you guys I appreciate y'all being with us and we're gonna keep good content going and we're not gonna stick around and just talk about this the whole night it's fun it's awesome we're pumped a lot more coming Starting next week, we will go live again. We'll you'll be, be looking for details on that. Probably Monday or Tuesday is kind of what we're thinking. But this will be the road to syndication. You know, we had the road to WrestleMania exactly. that led up to that and all of that. And I've been involved in watching WrestleMania and doing all of that stuff. Took my son to some matches in Lafayette and, uh, and just have had a lot of fun. Well, this kind of just started reminding me the month of May – is the road to syndication. We're going to go live every week in May and, uh, and we're going to have guests and things like that, but we're unfortunately in this little transition, we'll have to save some of those guest interviews for June, which they'll start dropping. You know, we'll start dropping those then in June too, but we'll, yeah. We'll definitely be teasing yeah. some things throughout oh, yeah. May that's happening that you're going to be seeing in June. So just stuff like that. Yeah. That's going to be, yeah. Just yeah. a, a ton of a ton of fun, but until I know then, before, until, until then, then, it's just your normal uh, aliens and conspiracy theories. So <laughs> hang in here <laughs> and, right, and smut Luke. and radio smut. So just hang in there. <laughs> Don't worry, your normal content is coming. <laughs> Yeah, oh, don't cool. you worry at all. We'll we're getting it. We're it's going to be not, really good. We're not, yeah. we're not working for the man. Okay, not at all. Not that, Hell no, that. no, not at all. <laughs> Tig, we, Tig, you should you should have queued up. We, yeah, I don't think you did because we did not talk about this, and I apologize. But the, the humanoid video, like, have y'all seen that out, oh, out in California? Man, no. That human no. looks like a little. Uh, like a marshmallow man flying through space. I mean, flying well, I space. saw it yesterday. Blasey and I finished the, our. <laughs> we, I, this is immediate. This is how we go. We finished this meeting, and we're not even out of this room. <laughs> and the next thing I know is we're looking at. He's telling me about this. I hadn't seen it, and then I, I wish we had had it recorded because my reaction was pretty good. It was. I couldn't believe it. Unbelievable! Yoga I was listening. I was listening to Rogan and Graham Hancock, so I'm on the other end of history. I'm I, I'm over here thinking about uh, ancient, uh, advanced civilizations. <laughs> oh, oh man, yeah, I did see that they, flood. So that's what they're that's what they're talking yeah. about in this week's well, episode. Yeah. I saw they were on there. Graham Hancock. It's pretty. He had. There's another guy on there. 
and my wife coming to the window. Uh, there's another guy on there that's kind of a counterpoint to Graham, and they kind of um, they they kind of uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of, they kind of Just flip bicker. that camera around. I think we so, want to see what's happening. <laughs> they kind of bicker and argue like they're because they're they're uh, going back and forth at each other, and that kind of, that part of the show is kind of sloppy. And even and uh, Rogan even has to say, "All right, guys, no bickery. Come on now, get back to the show." But <laughs> yeah. it was, uh, but it it is interesting, and it's the same stuff Graham's talked about. Yeah, the 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 going back. Hey, and you talking about seeing some? A couple of people have seen me the um, or shown me the uh ai commercial that's a complete ai human being uh you know saying you know it's some it's some commercial for uh some human rights thing it's just i'm not making light of that it's just scary how real the ai looks and the auto uh, you know the the how oh, dude i saw a damn video with like, like there was a rapper that went out on stage is in front of the crowd jumping up and down i, I can't remember who it was they used ai and it was then hitler going out and doing oh, that i what? saw this yesterday and looked just like him oh that's my great. god yeah it's i mean <laughs> that's a heck of a transition there hey i saw yeah, a so video welcome <laughs> welcome back see folks yeah, we're, right, we're we, we ain't going anywhere hey this i saw us. a video <laughs> speaking i saw a video on the opposite end of all anything we're talking about but i saw a, a video of nelly at a recent concert and there was it was a limited crowd and I was thinking, oh, hey, I saw that too. It was that, limited as limited as being nice. I think that that was sound check, uh, dude. Surely pre party, pre party or sound check. Hey, I don't surely, think that was the show I mean, part. if that there was, was that, that it had crowd. to be sound check. I mean, there that, wasn't fifty people in there. <laughs> a lot of people will do something like that. It's a paid thing to come in for a few songs during sound check as a VIP experience. I know right, that's right, the thing. right. So yeah. may, ho hopefully that's it. Anyway, <laughs> I sure hope so. All right. <laughs> back to aliens. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> back, to, back to aliens. Back no, to aliens. man. I think we've got to get back. Blasey and I talked a little bit, and tonight, folks, we're just kind of gonna we're just gonna spill the bean stuff that we've got coming up. That's what this show's all about. Blasey, there is something that he has been working on behind the scenes. A little bit of correspondence with me and some text, and like, yeah, let's. Uh, I like it. Yeah, and then, uh, Blasey. Yeah, Tell man. everybody what you're thinking. Yes, yeah, so I will. So before I do that, though, I got to back up. I saw Bubba Fan in the house. See, so, you know, it hit me. We're going to be syndicated all over the country before Mike Kauta even gets one single station. <laughs> I just want to make that little point of order here. I got to add <laughs> that. A, I know yeah, it's a Bubba fair Love point. Punch will probably be very proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that is just, hilarious. As soon as I saw him in there, I was like, I got to say something about this. Yep, there he is on so, Bubba Fan 69. We can always count on him. It. Thanks for showing up, <laughs> bud. That's it. Um, so, anyway, though, yeah, so, JR, are you ready for this? So our, I'm ready, our, brother. Our, you know, your good buddy, our, our, our friend, uh, Marty Smith, came on our show. It was phenomenal. Had a great time. Yep. I did not know at the time when he came on there that he was a world-class cornhole champion right know, yes and hold and held the world record there for a minute right he yep. had the on world TV. record for the longest cornhole throw ever at he did 76 it on tv feet. yes he did yep. did it on tv had an adjudicator come in from london and then a month or two or three later i think by the time we talked about that somebody broke it at like 78 feet and then there's this kid out in texas he broke it at 85 feet so now it's at 85 That's feet. a damn that, heave for y'all listening out there that don't know how a tape measure works. That's a damn heave, that son. That's, a that's, heave. that's longer than your house. That is <laughs> unbelievable. That is a toss right there. Yeah, that's a toss, buddy. So, yeah. without further ado, what, what, like, I was sitting here thinking, what can we do? I'll tell you what we can do. <laughs> i tell you we what we can do. Our over, one of our guys is an overachiever, and he's going to break that record. Oh, it ain't going to be one oh, no. of our guys. We're going to bring one of our guests in. You, don't know if you, you probably can't read this, but down the bottom, this is the – I'm going to remove – I'm going to remove us real quick, yeah. and so let's, you'll let's take up the full that. screen. Let's oh, see. I think I get it. Let's see if we can get it right here. There we go. So if we're going to try – I'm going to try to turn this just right. But that says Tig's Bits World Record Cornhole Toss, 90 feet. We've already got the trophy in hand. We've got the trophy in hand here. We're going to set up and do a live stream. More than likely, I, like location to be decided, either here at Props Brewery out front, I've already talked to the owner multiple times, or at the beach, do a live beach deal and bring in people. 
let them sign up and see if somebody can break the record and we'll hold the world record and we'll be the adjudicator. Yeah. You know, if I need to, this won't be, us. we're not going to have the guy in the tuxedo and no, we're not, we're not flying that cat perfect, in, but it's a world we're, record and it's adjudicated by us. If I need to get brother Gary from off Alabama to come down, if I wants to believe me, that it is actually 90 feet when we stretch it out there, you know I mean? I'll get brother Gary down here, but it's going to be 90 feet and we're going to break the world record. Yep. And we're going to do a live stream. What you think about that, Jr.? I love it. I love it. I think. I think it's. Uh, I man. I wonder if we can get some talent to come in from out of state. Or if you can get people to travel for it, that'd be awesome. Because I mean, yeah, it, it oh, can be. We're going to make an event of this, and and yeah. and, and, the, and as we now decided, know, guess no, guess decided. what? The whole yeah. nation's going to see this because we're going to. Absolutely. Gonna, we're going to after we will edit the live stream down naturally. Yeah. So that uh, I want to so know. Everybody I want to know. This. <laughs> I want to know. Is Blasey? Are you going to be in the competition? Are you going to try it? I'm absolutely going to toss a few. I know like, you are. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? I you know, know you I mean? would. I absolutely. I'm not going to sit there. <laughs> my money's I mean, on Blasey, even if people do. Tra- even if people come that are professionals, my money's still on Blasey. <laughs> hey, I, I just want to hey, see somebody it's do good, it. It's good, safe money. See somebody else do it. I just want to be there, set up, talk about it, like interview them. I'm going to find out what's good about them. Their their sports background. You know what I mean? Like, give me some yeah. background so we could talk right. about this. You know. I, love I think it, it might I be good it. for the Ocho one day. You know what I mean? Like, if we do this uh, right, you know what I mean? They may want to use it during the Ocho. Well, you got to think, year. even in our in our region, where you're, where you're centrally located from, how many people play cornhole? You live in a beach community, an outdoors community. I mean, I'm sure it, a lot of athletes all the way from – Mobile all the way down the to, through Florida. I mean, it's just athlete a alley. So uh, retired a athletes, things yes. like that. I bet, I bet that you be, I bet that you get some, you get some, you get the word out, and there'll be somebody, former ball players or golfers oh, yeah. or something from, you know, you know coaches oh, got, or something. I mean, heck, we, we got uh, Tommy Glavin, we got John Rocker living right back right. Here, you know what I mean? I may have to, yeah. you know, we have to reach and out that, to them. And, Get there's no here. telling yeah. Yeah, yeah and who knows if we get <laughs> I mean, it if 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 we get it up and we get it then maybe we'll have to tell marty you, you want to challenge them and we'll do a duel to see who breaks 90 and we'll see if we get marty involved we'll go to him we'll or if we have here. to yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> see i mean this is the kind of so stuff y'all are yeah. y'all are in our little happening. bubble of let's the spitball some ideas built. here this is this is happening with like, the trophies built yeah, somebody's going to win this damn trophy somebody could be him it may not leave his hands Maybe. 90's Maybe. a heave, man. That's a heave. heave. Do, are heave. they throwing them underhand at that distance at I, 85? I don't know. I've never seen it. Like, I'll tell you what I did do. So, here at Props, they've got a really nice setup cornhole situation. If you want to do cornhole, you come in here, give me your ID, you get bags. they got great boards. All Everything's, like, like weighted for, like, regulation, right? Right. So, I was talking to the owner about it here, and we were – and we walked it off and we're looking at it. He said, We got to get up here and make a few throws and see what it's like. I said, Well, you know, I've walked it off on the beach a few times. I was like, I don't, it's not impossible. I mean, I, I, I no. actually think it's highly probable in my mind it is. It's not that bad of a throw, but it is. Right. <laughs> I say, But it's not it's easy. A it's a heat. <laughs> it's, it's a heat. <laughs> and a half. It's a heat. It's but I got to be is. positive because I think somebody can break it. And if oh, yeah. you do a live stream, you know, it may take a whole afternoon. I don't know how long it's going to take. You it know? could. Or, hey, it. It I mean, the thing could go into Jerry after dark territory. It could be. And, it could be Jerry and after we dark may have to situation. sleep at the damn beach and do one of those deals. But we're going to live stream until it gets broken. It could be broken in the first five minutes. Be like, God, be. we did all of this. Boom. Boom. <laughs> we did all of this, and then bam. Well, we didn't think about that. A chance we're willing to take. We may just it ain't going to be broken in the first NFL. five minutes. He may just come over, bend over, go between his legs. It's gonna be over with. Could, yep. I mean, yep. So it is, I mean, it's gonna be. <laughs> but I got a feeling it's gonna take a minute. I do too. I do too. Marty, Ma- some... Marty said that first when he did. Uh, he uh, he tells the story. I think when we had him on Justin's podcast, that um, he had to throw it several times uh, to get. Yeah. To, he did. To, and off and once off the uh off air but it didn't count for some reason or, or something and i think it got down to the last couple throws and before he finally made it yeah but, i think like he, some, some cornhole pro was there was telling him because he was throwing it like like edgeways some weird yeah. spinning edge. he was like what are you doing he was like well somebody told me to do that he was like how do you normally throw it he said, i normally hold it like this and he said well throw it like that and he said he just slung it just like that and made it first try now that's 
That's what he said, and I, I, I fully believe it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, who are we? Because he made it. There's video of it. Like, we'll and, bring and Marty that's back right. on it. When the tournament exactly. comes on, we'll get Marty back on and talk about, you know, let him be. Yeah, able, you yeah know, this is definitely a shout out to him. Like, like he kind of gave that idea since so it's been broken twice now. So, you know, it's not like yeah. he's trying to break yeah. his record. So. No, right. that's right. That's right. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that. That's one thing that we definitely have uh, that we have coming up that's going to be a lot of fun. Look, Justin Nash says it. Others have said it. Bubba fan 69 says it hit the like button. If you're watching yeah, this right now, hit the like button, heart it, love it, do whatever. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do at Tigs bits at Tigs bits podcast anywhere on the socials. We're pretty much everywhere uh, these days and, and we're going to be everywhere in America starting very, very soon. So y'all don't mind uh, do that for us. I want to kind of move on and, um, and show a quick little video, and then, then we'll talk about some of this stuff. We've already talked about a couple of these things. Uh, but as I said, I went to Kansas City over the weekend. Quick trip. Got a call about three weeks ago that some – some it's kind of like the butterfly effect, like you were saying, you know, one, one butterfly, and then it just – the ripple effect goes down the road. Someone wasn't able to go. Someone backed out or whatever, and then – I got a phone call and was able to go, got asked, hey, do you want to go see Messi play, uh, Miami play, oh, man. Kansas City at Arrowhead Stadium time. in front of 72,000 people? Ugh. I mean, number one, Arrowhead Stadium's a bucket list place for me. Last summer, whenever LSU won the College World Series, we went to Omaha on the way back stopped at Arrowhead Stadium so I could take a picture and all that. I think I even – I'm sure I shared that on social media. Uh, and then for me to be back there like six or seven months later to go actually see something and go in it was incredible. The night was incredible. And and my son, he has a YouTube channel, Thunderbull Gaming, if you, if you want to follow, follow his channel. We did some content – for that and have been working on on some of that there's still a lot of stuff to be made uh for his little channel so i'll be sharing some of that trip over there but i put a little highlight video together that's not really just the whole game it's not really about the game it's some of the places that we saw along the way on that 12 and a half hour drive from baton rouge so check this out i think oh, yeah, i think i think you may recognize uh a thing or two Especially you, Jr. You because you've been on the road. You've been everywhere. So yeah, that was. Uh, a I know lot. Riley was loving it. Who was that that Riley yeah. had that uh, picture st taken? Uh, Stephen Amfrifa. I can't pronounce his last name. If okay. I can't pronounce uh, Boudin, yeah, Boudin, then then Lord, I can't pronounce his last name. But <laughs> but he was he was uh, super super nice guy. Uh, Riley got to take take get his autograph and take a picture with him, which was cool. Uh, a couple of hours before the before the game or the match. And then, as you saw, there was a Mr. Peanut. That is in yes. Fort Smith, Arkansas. So, uh, you know what's the funny? Guy, I didn't realize that was in Fort Smith. I was in, I've been to Fort Smith one time, and I was like, oh, I've seen this Mr. Peanut. Like, where is that? It's exactly where it is. In Fort Smith, That's Arkansas. exactly where it is. Before yeah, it's right there off the – A bunch of years. Yeah. Right off the side of the road. Uh, Flower of the Lily, 47. Yeah. I believe that's UTC. What's up? Says the Peach Baskets. Of course, one of those pictures is with Dr. Naismith at uh, in Kansas, in Lawrence, Kansas, where uh, where we got to go see Allen Fieldhouse. They didn't get to go in it. They're doing renovations inside it right now, like major renovations. I looked it up after. I mean, you could tell that it was it was locked out. They had a little a little merch booth or a little 
you know, gift shop right there that's in it. So technically yeah. I stepped foot in Allen Fieldhouse right. to see <laughs> to see the the merch and all. But uh yeah, I, I wish that I could have seen the court, but really cool to get to go to Lawrence, the yeah, home man, of awesome. where basketball was was invented, you right. know, where that's it wild. came to America and with Dr. Naismith. Naismith, yeah. But uh but just just a lot of fun. We did there was another you saw the kids that were standing inside that big what that was was the world's largest coal shovel. Uh, the biggest coal like shovel big in the history of the world. That thing is huge. You can see us all standing in it. Uh that is in Rich Hill, Missouri. Wow. So uh yeah, it was just it was it it was cool. I love doing stuff like that. The guy that we uh the guy that we were traveling with, Gus. He, I can't remember the name of the website right off right off the bat, but it has all these interesting things. So you can basically see wherever you are at, you can look and see if there's something, a point of interest. It's usually some oddball things that, that you're going to see, some kind of a grave marker or yeah, just some yeah. unusual, unusual things. So really cool. I had a blast, you know, seeing those things. But uh, just get out and go see America. You know, I mean, that's what it's that's what it's all about. David Ware chimes in. Dr. David Ware, our friend David Ware, said that I saw a great messy game. And there's no doubt, no doubt about that. He had an assist. He had a goal. It was uh, it was it was good. Can't believe I got to see that, too. To see that and witness that with my son was just unbelievable. Yeah, there's so no doubt it. that's TC. He says we're going back to KC in the fall, Tiggy, which is good because I I wanted to hear Arrowhead get loud. And I did when Messi scored. It was loud, all that stuff. But, I mean, you know, it wasn't Chiefs game loud. So, right. you know, I want to go. I will probably hear that. You should, <laughs> did you not take, like, one of those uh, babuzalas? Like, thank they God they don't. Thank God they don't have those things anymore. I couldn't handle it. I'd have to leave the stadium. That deal drove me crazy. I couldn't watch that World Cup. I, th I th think that that's year. just American not going crazy. Because I know the one time I worked um, an international match for some kind of the uh, not the Olympics but some big world soccer match uh, in Nashville. That it was only half full because they didn't fill the top bowl. It was just the lower bowls, but it was so loud. I mean, they were smoke bombs and flag. It was the, Dude, the soccer fans were crazy. Dude, nuts. I went and watched. A whole I've been ball. to one soccer match, professional soccer match, and it was 1996, and it was at uh, oh, what is it, Bryant Denny Stadium? Okay. Yeah, what yeah, up, yeah. Murph? I mean, uh, that's set in Birmingham, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Legion yeah, Field. Yeah. Legion Field. Sorry, sorry. Legion sorry. Field. Yeah. Legion Field, not Brighton East. Yeah. Legion Field. And I watched Argentina and Spain play in the Olympics. Unbelievable. Oh, Insane. The arena was huge, and that thing was going nuts. Like, I'd never seen anything like that game, dude. I, I mean, I think uh, that year Argentina went on to win the gold. One of them did. I can't remember if Argentina was. That was a crazy. That was unbelievable. Like, I'd never seen yeah. anything like it. Yeah. Those soccer fans get fanatical. Oh, for they sure. get. They are, they are very, very fanatical. No doubt yes. about it. Yes. No doubt about it. But, well, look, I mean, you're up there. You're making this journey up there. There's one thing you have to do when you're in Kansas City. You got to eat. You got to do barbecue. barbecue. So, to. without any further ado with that, too, I've got this is a little lengthy video. It's about six minutes long, folks. So, y'all just uh, y'all just hang in, the, hang in there with it. But full-on review, Q39. Yeah, go take you a little break. Yeah, Come back it. while yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, Q39 in Overland Park. They have several uh, around Kansas City. Fantastic. Y'all check this out. All right, here we are, Q39, Missouri, Overland Park, technically. Oh, my Lord. smells good. Holy cow. All right. Hey, how are y'all? It's your first time here. Our owner, Chef Rob, did barbecue competitions for about 15 years, won a ton of awards. What we're known for is our burnt ends. So if you're a burnt ends fan, I recommend that certified Angus beef brisket because you get the brisket, the burnt ends. Also that um, burnt end appetizer, which we don't always have, but when we do, it's worth it. Okay. And then, um, let's see. Oh, our sandwiches don't come with sides, but you can add those on a la carte. Okay. 
and then you can add pork belly and ribs on with any of our meals and sandwiches. Same with the chicken and the brisket. Um, yes, and then our we added some new items with our 10th anniversary this month. Okay. We brought back some of the old, old, old favorites. We got our buffalo cauliflower, our beer cheese fondue, and then our pulled pork that's on a pretzel bun. We're about to try some of these amazing, amazing burn-ins. This is a treat. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Just the right amount of smoke, the right amount of sweetness. That's burn in, Kansas City style. Check this out. We're going to start with the side. Of course, I want to jump into this spare rib. Of course, I want to jump into this chicken. And of course, I want to hit this freaking brisket. But before we do that, let's hit this street corn, man. This is a nice little presentation. It's creamy. Everything looks authentic. Let's see. Man, that's spot on. That's really, 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 really good. All right. These ribs look good. They're perfectly cooked. Nice little smoke ring. Everything looks right. You can already tell they're tender without even biting into them. I have a feeling this is going to be more like a competition bite where it's not, it's not just falling off the bone. It's just going to have a little bite to it. Let's see. Oh, it's tender, <laughs> but that's right. No, my lord. I wasn't expecting that to be that good. That's that's like a religious experience. Whoa! All right. Wow. Um, Shannon, my brother. I know what I've said. And look, Shannon's Butcher Block, shout out to Shannon's Butcher Block. Those are the best ribs I've ever had. It's recency bias, but these are these can these can roll with them. That's a compliment to you, Shannon, because this is a legendary, legendary place. These are this is the way ribs are supposed to be. If you come to Kansas City and you want to eat ribs, this is what it should be. That's what it should be. And that barbecue sauce is money. Let's look at this. This, let's see, now we all know the rules on how a brisket slice should be. It's cut right. Look at the bark. Nice bark, beautiful bark. Nice smoke ring, all of that. I would have not put a little sauce on it, but it's just a dabble of sauce. I could wipe it off, I'm not. This sauce up here is killer. And you're in Kansas City, you eat it with a little sauce, right? But this thing needs to fold and not break to be a perfect slice. Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's a perfect slice of brisket, folks. Let's see how it tastes. Barely pull it for it to break apart. Barely. I'm barely touching that. Let's see. Yes, that is amazing brisket. I can't judge it too much because it has that sauce on it, even though I could wipe it off. Based off of the burn ends, final review here on the brisket here at Q39. Fantastic. We'll have to see exactly how it's smoked. I believe it's hickory. I'll find out for sure. I'm pretty sure that's what they do up here, and it's a little sweeter, so it doesn't, it's not as smoky as you get in Texas. The barbecue sauce, I mean, my hands are dirty. This is Kansas City, it's the way it's supposed to be cooked right, everything right. Texas style still is my favorite, no questions asked. And Shannon's Butcher Block still has the best brisket I've ever eaten in my life. But this is daggum amazing. So no knock on Q39 whatsoever. This is Kansas City brisket as it should be. It's perfect. Let's try this chicken. All right, look, I'm just going straight on in. I, this is the way I like to eat chicken. I just want to eat a bite of it. Get me a little piece of the skin to go with it. Just a sinful little delight. Let's go. That's money, dude. 
you can put that on a cracker. You can put that on anything. That is, yeah, uh-huh. I'd come here just to eat their chicken. That's it. That's amazing. This place rocks. Highly suggest it. Come here if you're ever in the area. Overland Park, Q39 South. Amazing barbecue. I'm so glad I finally got to have good barbecue in Kansas City. Boom. Dude, that looks Bye so y'all. good. That looks so good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, <laughs> man. I mean, it, dude, <laughs> it, when it's that good, you're right. When it's that good, there's it's just hard to even compare what it uh, equate it to anything because you can't move. You're just like, oh my goodness, that is so good. Well, it looks oh. like our buddy at Sh Shannon at Shannon's Butcher Block is watching. Uh, he says, "Thanks, man. Guess I'm on the right chat track with my ribs, my dude." You're beyond the right track with those ribs. Those ribs that you make are unbelievable. But it, that, they, here's the thing, Shannon, is they they had a very similar taste. I mean, very very similar, sweet, like you kind of explained how you do. I th I think it it is a very very similar process to what you're doing and what they are doing. Because if I put them together. And I didn't have them right there together, but my memory's pretty good. They were, man, they were so close. And I, and I was expecting them. I said I was expecting a, a competition bite and for them to not fall off the bones. But they came off the bones just clean. You could see in the video there's just one little man. clean clean bone. Mm. But, man, and the, and the brisket, you know, kind of like I said, <laughs> Shannon's like, dude, now he says his, his head's swelling. Well, <laughs> your head should swell, bro. It's really the best – it's really the best that uh, that I've I've had. The, yeah. Those ribs and the brisket. They are like I've said in social media. Yeah, the standard. Shannon set the standard for what is going to to come now. I'm going to judge everything based off of that because oh, it yeah. was that that good. Hilton asked, "So was it hickory?" Yes, it was hickory. Um, I found out I I forgot to ask them, but I went back in this place and uh, watched this guy. Rob was his uh Rob was his name that I think it was his name that owned the owned the place that did I won these competitions and all that. He passed away a couple of years ago, unfortunately, uh due to cancer. But I saw some old videos of him like three or four years ago where with local TV stations interviewing him and stuff. He was walking people through that process and one hundred percent they use hickory. And I, that's what I thought that I tasted. Now, when they make their burnt ends, though, they 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 cook them. Of course, you're cooking a whole brisket, and you just take the point and you you dice those burnt ends up. They will take them and then char them, or kind of like just quickly cook them over an over an open fire of oak, where they get a get a little kiss of oak. And I could taste that in in the burnt ends. Burnt ends were fantastic. I love. Uh, if you love barbecue sauce, and Kansas City loves their barbecue sauce, <laughs> as they should, they have. I like sweet barbecue sauce, so you know I'm I'm down I'm down with that. Okay. I just prefer. I like to taste the smoke and that salt and that kind of stuff with a brisket, and I didn't get that necessarily from that brisket, but it was still very 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 good. I mean no no complaints. But that chicken and those ribs, whoa, money money, wow. I had the opposite so in Memphis. I had I had back. I didn't have good barbecue uh, in Memphis. Catering wasn't good barbecue. Oh man, that's disappointing. I, know, right? I was so disappointed, oh. man. And then my buddy, I the standard for me used to be rendezvous, and one of my good friends, Cody Oxley, shout out Ox. Um, he went to. He said he had a bad experience, and I said you should have went to rendezvous. He said I did. And he had a bad experience at rendezvous, and oh, I was man. like, oh, so. I had a great um, anyway. experience at Rendezvous. That's the one place I've, I've been to in Memphis. That's the only place I've been to in Memphis, and it was phenomenal. Now, this has been it, 12 years ago. That same here. It's been a long time. It's probably about the that's same in for Germantown, me. right, I think, area or something? Uh, uh, no, I, it's I downtown. But oh, is it? Okay, but I've been there. I yeah. thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. last time I was there was probably the same, Blasey, 12, 15 years ago. I remember. I think it was when my buddy Eason got married, but uh, or before he got married. Um and it was still good. Now, I don't know if they changed owner or something changed, but he said it was just – and he's he lives in South Texas in the heart of that Texas barbecue country down there in okay. uh, yeah. New Braunfels, San Marcos, down that way. Um, 
and he he was just so disappointed and i was nice. like man i, I can't i would have never guessed that i would have bet money that you would have had a good experience and yeah he's, you know, and he's, but he what, said he did get half off his meal and i shouldn't tell this talk <laughs> bad but um, but at least he did kill, he did kill a few fashion. insects and get his meal in, cut in half. He had to kill Ooh. some insects while he was eating. Get Dang, his, yeah. Okay, that's a little yeah, extra that, that, there. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's more than just it didn't. Turn. Because you know, I yeah. think about this, and I always wonder about these barbecue places because I'll do sometimes I'll do the same process. I feel like I got close to the same cut, and I'll do the same thing, and it just turns out. Sometimes it turns out great. Sometimes yeah. it doesn't turn so out so great. Day. And I'm like, yeah. if, if I was serving people, I just have to deal with this. It'd be like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry, guys. It just didn't. It didn't turn out today like it should have. You know. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I always a have a lot day. of flexibility in my mind when it comes to these places. Like, man, they're, they're, it happens at the house. You know. I mean, even yeah. when I bring the same it effort does. and energy and everything, and it's like it just there's a different outcome sometimes with barbecue. True. Just know? doesn't work out sometimes. You no, know. It doesn't. It doesn't, but now the bugs, that's a whole different <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know, you know what I mean? I, and sometimes, hey, today I had two wasps in my house. I had six black flies I was chasing around. Like, so if, you'd, if that had been my restaurant today, they just, I just opened the door one time and they all came in. And so, they came right. in. Yeah. It happens. I'm, have, I'm starting to deal with gnats in here yeah. again. It's just that time of year, you know, and they like the lights. The <laughs> so, uh, man, I, I wasn't really – this just happened to me this evening, like literally 15, 20 minutes before we went on the air tonight. And I, I think it's just too good to not share. I hope that he doesn't mind that I share this, but I, I kind of briefly told y'all uh, before before we went on the air that I may do this. I'm going to do this. We got a lot of people in here watching this, and I want this. I want, a, I want to give this guy a shout out. My son, let me bring this up here. My son... And I uh, went to, and I've told y'all this, we went to uh, Road to WrestleMania, kind of where I'm getting this idea of this is the road to syndication. All right. Back up to January, we were watching the Royal Rumble. All right. We go in one night. Hell yeah. JR knows. JR is going to be pumped. But you, JR, contain yourself with what the contents of what I'm going to show from this box. Okay. It's show and tell time, folks. Uh, so, <laughs> so we go, we watch uh, the Royal Rumble. Riley loved it. It was the first time he really saw wrestling. We've explained how it's scripted and all that. But look, it's just the energy. It's entertainment. It's just fun. All right? It's just fun. I look, and I'm like, oh, okay, there's a WWE event going on in Lafayette. I'm buying tickets. So I bought tickets, Road to WrestleMania. We go fantastic and and it was fun because it was a house show it wasn't uh it, it wasn't a tv show there wasn't a lot of mic work that night they just wrestled there's a little bit they just wrestled they interacted with the fans and all of the main players that were in wrestlemania just about all of them not all of them but most of them were there cody rhodes and Ro uh, roman reigns wasn't there but uh yeah uh, becky lynch and just the, the main the main stars they were all there so it was fun then WrestleMania happens. Well, in between that was my birthday, and it was also Riley's birthday. And uh, a good friend of mine that I used to work with back when I lived in Florida named John Frazier, he sent me a text, told me happy birthday. I said, thanks, you know, and all that. And I said, dude, you're going to love this. He's a huge wrestling fan. I said, we just went to Lafayette. We're fired up to watch WrestleMania this weekend and, and all that. And he's like, man. How old's your son and all that? So I, I told him, he's like, I'm going to send you. I've got some stuff I want to send him. I'm like, okay, you know, like what, what what's he going to do? What's his shirt size? I told him. He's like, all right. So all of that said, sorry for that long story. I had to set this up. I get this box today, or my son gets this box today and has opened it up. I want to share with y'all what this guy sent. He sent a very nice letter to uh, of course, explaining it and 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 all. I'm, I will spare him that. I won't read him the letter. Won't read the letter. But thank you so much. Uh, if I fail, if we get too into laughing and talking, cutting up about all of this. But um, thank you so so much, John, for sending this. This will be stuff that we will that we will both treasure for forever. And I know that Riley will. Uh, but check this out. Let's start with this. We have some cards. He sent cards. I don't know if you can see this, oh, but yeah. you can tell oh, who that oh, is. Oh, love it. You can Hulkster. tell who that is. Oh, my gosh. 
got some John Cena action. Cena. Uh, Can't see me. We've got The Rock giving rock. a rock, giving a rock bottom to Stone Cold. <laughs> He's gonna heal. I like it. Andre the Giant, of course. Eighth wonder of the world. And then the JYD, mm, the dog baby, that dog. Those are some cards that he sent. Then he sent figurines, figures too. I love I mean, it. I love <laughs> it. Wow. Thank you, smile. La, 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 la. <laughs> you know. If you'd have saved the, if I'd have saved those when I was a kid, they'd be worth a lot of money. But you got to break into them and play with them. Oh my God, I, I did. I, 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 we're not. Like, he, no, I'll buy him some other like this. This is a going to be. This is a collector's item. Jade Cargill. She's she just made a de- debut on WWE, and uh, he said this That's one's awesome. rare. You might want to hold on to this one. Yeah. So uh, keep her in the box. We're gonna keep. Yeah, keep that one in the box. Then I mean, look at <laughs> look at this sucker. I love it. <laughs> I love it, man. Wow. Wait, I, who, who all was I that? I geeked was, out that over. I geeked out over. That was Hulk and Andre. Hulk and Andre. Oh my god. That's amazing. Here's another a little figurine of uh, of John Bam. Cena. <laughs> uh, so good. And then he he sent sent this Cody Crybaby shirt for him, which is awesome. Love it, love it, so love good, it. Dude. Wow. And then this bad boy. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Thump. I love yes. it. The JYD. As good as it gets, oh, the king man, of the so king good. of New Orleans, and then were, the most they ultimate. Were, they were saying who that for uh, who that gonna beat the dog before that's they said right. who that about the Saints. That's right, that's right. And then he sent this thing, man. Bam! This was his when yeah. he was a kid, wow, and I love he sent it. it to Riley. Wow! Unbelievable, dude! So it's awesome. the dog. <laughs> I've still got some of those somewhere. I think they're in my. Uh, I maybe have a toy chest still at my grandmother's. Those were the best. They were damn near indestructible. They were big. Only thing was you couldn't move them. But man, those were great figures back in the day, and they're worth a lot of money if you had those in the box still. Good oh, gracious, yeah. that's awesome, man. <laughs> Haley Salter, my lovely daughter, says, "Holy cow! I don't know who's more hype, you or Riley." That's that's, that's, that's very awesome. fair. Haley, very True fair. Story. Daddy's pumped over this, but that is. Just one of the one of the nicest things that uh, that anybody could do, and that's how it that's how it that's how it happens. You know, you like wrestling, you start to get into it, you become a collector. Somebody, oh, somebody else likes wrestling. Oh, this is it's not so crazy to like this. It's not just you're. It's okay. It's it okay, okay to like it. It's, it is it's okay. okay. It's entertainment. Oh, it's that's awesome, dude. Yeah, that's so man. Cool, dude. So, that's so cool. Looking forward to uh, to to getting that in his in his room and uh and and all that stuff so yeah man that's awesome that dude's had him a heck of a that. yeah he's had him a heck of a run, run, here. run here i mean yeah just I mean, the last few days i mean that's yeah. a big parlay really i is. mean suckers go hey yeah, he ain't crazy. done he's going to the beach this weekend of course he is <laughs> i mean why, why wouldn't he what beach uh he's going to orange beach he's going oh, to see you right handler street, he's right not really going to see you. yep he's going to be in orange beach yeah what's he got going on just going with a friend that has, nice. a, has a condo there. They're just going to hang out, boat ride, go to the beach, probably go to the Bama. Kick it in huh? Yeah, just chill. They're going to have fun. JR, so I gotta I'm going to a big retreat in Eunice, yeah. Louisiana this nice. weekend. So uh, there probably won't be a ton of this. content come from it, but uh, but I will uh, definitely get some. We're going to be boiling crawfish. We're going to be frying fish. Oh, it's going to be a good time. Man, that's going to be fun. Nice. Yeah, man. Nice. Hilton still has his G.I. Joe in the attic, he says. Love it. Yeah. Hey, man. That was so, a- Jr. without further ado, i got to ask you, is there any chance that we've been waiting? So, this year, once a year, Jr. Uh, and myself, like our fraternity brothers, we get together, and there's literally like 60-something of us. And this year at Sandestin, it starts on Thursday. It runs through Sunday. It's the Beach of Palooza. Oh, boy. And I, we've never – I don't think I've ever seen a Jr. sighting. Is there any chance that Jr. the handler shows up this year, even for like a half day? Putting him on the spot, man. I don't Damn know. Around. I'd I mean, say never. Been... I've been trying for five years in a row, so I'm gonna continue to try. We'll see. I have a. Uh, I do have some prior obligations. See, it's met, and literally the entire time, except for the first year, 
the last four years. This is the same weekend we have our St. Jude golf tournament and fundraiser show and all that stuff in Little Rock. So oh, yeah, yeah, that, that's what that's the deal there. So I'm trying to work on something. So I'm, I'm not saying no yet, but I'm, I don't have any plans. That's a no. Because of that. <laughs> no, no, time that's out. a no. Time out. Listen, I only live. Hey, look, you know, I only live 30 minutes from where this takes place, which is awesome. It's so easy. And if for I, me. hey, and Blasey, but Blasey, I've got my kids this weekend. Hey, you let me know that time frame. If you're here I, for six hours, you let me know those six hours. I, I promise you, I'll break out and be there. Hey, you know, I live, I don't live too far from there. And I tell you this too, Blasey, just uh, use your imagination. But if I was going to show up, I ain't telling it on here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's like my, i've been doing this podcast game a while you gotta watch what you say and things like that so uh we'll see we'll okay. see <laughs> just, I, I had to ask though right uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right it's that. better to over it's better to under promise and over deliver and i'm gonna stick to that you know oh i got a good feeling <laughs> i got a good feeling i'm gonna be around i'll be i'll be in and out in and out in and out the whole time uh, so. yeah you got stuff you got ball games and stuff yeah, we got we got uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, got kids this weekend. I got we got a ball game seven o'clock on Friday night, but I played in the golf tournament on Friday, and there will be something special there going down too. I'm not going to announce it yet, but it, me and my team are going to be dressed very very golf appropriate. I'll just say that. So, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, you did give me a little insight on. That. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah. Let's just go back to like the way golf used to be played. Like, hey, damn right. right. So. But, yeah, so our, our team's going to be dressed golf appropriate. And then – but I've got a ball game that night at 7, so I'll be getting my son. We're going to be going to a baseball game. So you're going to keep it, it you're gonna have to keep it on the fairway pretty much, too. Oh, you ain't going to be able to – you ain't going to be able to get too out of control. Yeah. That's no, good, though. That's good. No, no, no. no. Yeah, it's, it's great. That's actually, <laughs> it's good. It's the way I've done it the last four years, you know. Right, yeah. right. It's fun. It's fun. Well, big yeah. weekend. And look, look, everybody, there is a ton of content still to come from we've had some amazing guests on recently that we yes. haven't had a chance we've not been in a forum like this where we've been able to chat with you guys that are in that are in the chat room and all in the in the chat and all that but i mean we had the cajun critic on the other day which was just that dude was incredible i've got several videos that i have not chopped up from that interview that you're going to be seeing that on social media coming coming at you soon We've yep. had a couple of pro bass fishermen with Robert G. Robert G. finished 40th this past weekend, but he made the cut nice. in uh, a better tournament. They Bassmasters rocking and rolling again. They start uh, Thursday. Hey, you John's know, River. I just had a thought, Tiggs. If we if we um, if we don't have a guest for next week's show, why don't we come on and y'all can and we can go back over some of those shows as of recent because I yeah, had to yeah, get yeah. filled in on some of that. Yeah. And um, give you some time to yeah, catch up on yeah, them. Yeah, 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 I need yeah, to catch yeah. up on all that because I know there was. I've seen the clips you've put out on stuff so far, and man, it's fascinating. I've talked to some people about some of the topics y'all were talking about, so I'd like to revisit some of those episodes. Yeah. Um, and and then uh, I thought it was fun earlier today, just going over stuff we've seen. We could do a r couple of rounds of videos we've seen the last, since the last time. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. There, there's a se there's a segment every week for certain. Uh, look, but I mean, and that that's what I think that will develop. We're just kind of talking about this live. Yeah, Shannon, I think he will come up there at some point. We're, we're going. I'm going to stay on him. I'm going to get him up there. He needs to come sample it. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to be one of the things that will will help. Uh, we're going to go live a lot more. These will be kind of free rooms where we just chat, visit with y'all, yeah, talk about stuff thing. that's yeah. a little bit crazy, stuff that isn't really structured for an entire show. But we want to still be talking, hanging right. out, chilling, doing that. At the same time, we got, so, we got some guests lined up here. It's going to be really some cool. Some really we good got, guests. Hey, we got uh, the AD from Troy. Brent Jones wants to come on. Yep. We're going to set that up very soon. My good friend and one of my favorite bands on this planet the like founder balder saunders he's going to come in studio i've been getting equipment ready for that so jr we're going to have our first hybrid where we're going to be that's why i got this extra mic we're going to have two mics we're going to do a hybrid we're going to do you, you guys are going to be where you're going to be and balder's going to be here live with me we're going to do that soon that's going to be fun yep. we do we got all kinds of people here love it ready to roll all so kinds of people i've got uh yeah Brittany camille she has tons of followers uh on social media she's gonna come on the show at some point uh soon she has a new cookbook out 
we'll uh we'll be talking about that so i mean we we got stuff coming folks we've got stuff coming and we're gonna break a world record at some point damn right we're championship going to break level. A world record right here champions are made stuff right here yeah. world we records are broken on this show I may be, right. Again, I'm, I'm bringing in Brother Gary more than likely to come in so everybody believes that the distance is correct. And if you want to question Brother Gary, you got a problem. Cause Dude, we'll get a we'll get a ref. Stuff. We'll get a pro. We'll get a SEC ref or something. We know people. Yeah, we'll get a, we'll yeah, get a ref. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll get a ref. Yeah, we're gonna make this thing valid. We're gonna validate it. It's gonna <laughs> oh, yeah. be. We're about it's to gonna fun. be a lot of fun. Oh, but, we're about to have uh, a lot of fun. We are. We are. Well, look. We're going to start. We're going to keep this stuff to around an hour. Like I said, the road uh, to syndication begins. We need to start to exercise that ourselves. Uh, yeah. To yep. so we're going to, we're going to try to keep it between forty five minutes and an hour. So we're right there on that. But heck of a show. A lot of fun to recap everything. So excited to get to tell you guys. Uh, you know the new news that we're going to be we're going to be going syndicated and we're going to be all hey, Brantley, across tell them how America. They can go check out like our future uh, new partner over there. Yeah, for sure. You can go check out our partner uh, right now television. You can just look them yeah. up right now TV on search them in Google. They're going to be the first thing that pops up. You can see uh, you can see the various channels that they're listed on. You can actually watch that channel live. Yeah, just there from the web uh, as well. It's on Roku. You can download those apps anywhere that if you don't have, if you're not watching it over the air or on a cable station, then you can still watch it, um, you know, on the internet. So yes. uh, yeah. awesome, Super cool. awesome they, reach. They Looking forward to coming to there, some man. places. I'm they do. They have really good it, shows. Yeah, I was watching I've had it on pretty much. Country music shows. There was, uh, there were shows about like, uh, you know, guns and different things it's 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 for dude they men. have charlie like moore a, on there they have yeah. beat charlie moore you remember that show that was on tv on espn like 10 or 12 years ago it was beat charlie moore he's a northeasterner yeah. dude he's got a lot of attitude and all that stuff he's good good fisherman yeah. he's on that channel uh, great, so dude. yeah maybe we job. can maybe eventually we get charlie moore on the show you know so absolutely yeah we will right. we will see we will see we'll Look, everybody, appreciate all of y'all in the chat. As uh, Zane Davis says, yo, Brant, man, love you, brother. Who dat? Love you too, man. Uh, yeah. Shannon, Shannon, always good seeing him. My boy Tommy, he saw the dog in the Superdome in the 80s in his reign, man. David Ware says this is the podcast of champions. You better believe it podcast is. And Paul Rogers says it's right. all awesome. You're awesome, Kit. brother Paul. Yes, yeah, sir, Paul. you are. Yes, sir, you are. Well, folks, appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you again. Same time, probably. Same place, definitely. We'll see you next week.